Okay, everybody, well, apparently I have to remake my video because I wasn't clear enough as to what I was talking about in the last video when I referenced springs and rollers and sliders and uh, RPMs and uh, what else did I mention? Uh, oh, peak uh, horsepower. Uh, Okay, for future reference, all I am referring to in this video is this part of the transmission, or this part of the engine, the transmission, from here to here, this in between, and nothing else. This is how to tune your CVT, which is your variator, which is behind here, the weights in your variator, whether they be rollers and sliders, the uh, clutch, uh, which includes your uh, clutch pulley, your clutch tension spring, your clutch springs, and your uh, clutch bell, where the clutch engages to. Um, when I talk about, if I talk about RPMs at all, it will be in reference to the clutch and nothing else. This is not motor RPMs, this is clutch RPMs. This has to do with shifting, not with engine RPMs, okay? This is all about the transmission, this is not about the engine, okay? So, in this video, I will be explaining how your transmission shifts and how to tune it in relation to the variator and clutch. Okay, so, let me flip this up here, <laughs> and hopefully you can see the clutch pulley here. Now right now I have a stock 1000 RPM spring on it, and if I pull here, you can see that I can pull it open relatively easy and force the belt into it. Now. When I do that, the variator can open and close very easily. It's not opening and closing unless it's running because of the weights and they have to do with rotation. Um, yeah, all that. So, what I'm going to do is move the atten uh, engine aside for a second and we're going to discuss the actual components. Okay, now you may be wondering why you can't just go on a website and find out what weights to put in your variator that will make your scooter run fast. Uh, the, the answer is, is that uh, there, there isn't any one set of weights because it has to do with the relationship between this part here, which is your clutch tension spring, the stronger your clutch tension spring, the more pressure it puts on the belt. The more pressure it puts on the belt, the harder your variator has to work to push the belt up and to pull the belt down on your clutch. Um, now, uh, to do that, use variator weights. These are variator weights. These are rollers. They also have sliders. These weights are all a certain weight. These are six gram weights right here. There's usually six of them, but you can run them with just three in this position here. Uh, if you're looking to tune your variator uh, specifically uh, and Six small weights don't work. You tune it with three larger weights. Um, and that's getting kind of complicated. But basically, the stronger your clutch spring, the heavier your variator weights have to be to shift that belt on the pulley. So, I'm going to talk about RPMs for a second. These springs go onto your centrifugal clutch. 
And when your centrifugal clutch reaches a certain number of RPMs, these springs will stretch and the clutch will engage. Now these here are 1500 RPM springs. They're meant to engage during a different part of the power band. Now I'm not telling you what RPMs the power band engages in. They engage at the clutch best at around 50, when the clutch hits 1500 RPMs with these springs. The yellow set of springs uh, is 2000 RPMs, the blue set of springs is 1500 RPMs, and the red set of springs is 1000 RPMs, or at least that's the way I understand it. Um, this is the clutch uh, tension, uh, pulley tension spring for a 2000 RPM set. I wanted my variator to shift harder because I am souping up my engine and I want there to be more tension and more friction on the belt. Which means when I want it to shift at uh, peak RPM for my power band, I have to change the weight in my variator to go along with this spring. Now, it, the weights would have to be heavier for this spring to shift at the same rate as they would they they need to be lighter for a less strong spring that's why you can't just say which variator weights are going to be best for a gy6 scooter it's relationships it's relationships between this spring between the variator between the weights and between uh the sliders and all oh, your transmission is about relationships and you're looking for the most efficient relationship you're looking for the combination that goes best with this and best with this so that's what I'm trying to explain if you're trying to tune uh, your engine uh, and or your transmission uh, to be the most efficient the best way to do it is to put it on a workbench see when at, at, you know when the clutch engages and when the transmission starts shifting. If your transmission starts shifting before the clutch ever engages, you're not getting the benefits of your clutch, or you're not getting the, event, uh, the benefits of the lower, or, or lower horsepower at a lower RPM. Uh, I don't even, sorry, I'm trying to explain this better. Um, you're not getting the benefits of a lower gear because your transmission is shifting before it even engages in that lower gear. So the best way, open CVT, put it on a, a, a workbench, bolt the engine down, fire it up. If you, if you don't know how to do that, you can take an old wiring harness, hook it up in a box and fire up an engine on the bench. Um, it's not that difficult. Uh, I recommend that any GY6 mechanic has a workbench that they can bolt an engine to and fire it up on the bench. It's really the only way to tune the engine properly is before you ever get it on the bike. Um, that's how to tune your CVT. You want to tune it with weights that are going to cause your transmission to shift in relation to the clutch tension, uh, clutch pulley tension spring. Um, I know you were hoping for a simple answer of, oh, what weights am I going to need for my scooter? Uh, what, what weight should I put in my variator? And I will honestly tell you that um, you're gonna want lighter weights than stock recommended uh, because lighter weights shift uh, later. Um, and your RPMs are gonna be higher, which means you're going to have a greater amount of horsepower, unless your RPMs are so high that you're outside your power band. But your RPMs are gonna be higher, They're going to, you're gonna have a lot more horsepower, and you're gonna be shifting under peak horsepower rather than shifting uh, during underperforming horsepower. So 
You don't want to go too light because you go outside your power band. You don't want to go too heavy because you'll be shifting before uh, you're at your peak horsepower. You want to be shifting at peak horsepower. Um, and that has to do with the relationship between your CVT or your variator and your uh, clutch tension spring. Clutch pulley tension spring, sorry. If you want to get to, uh, if you want to find out uh, what they are, uh, what test I'm doing to find out how my setup is working, uh, hit me in the comments, and I will be glad to tell you once I get this together on my engine uh, and test it out. I'll give you the best results that I'm getting. Um, thanks for watching and. I hope I explained it um, so that most people can understand.